Hi, thanks for tuning in. We're going to be looking at how to customize the stepper to change the continue and cancel buttons here inside of Flutter. So by default, when we make a stepper, we can go cancel or continue. And that's simply what Flutter gives us. And the way that we can do that is by establishing an on step continue and an on step cancel. We can customize this further by having a controls builder. And this allows us to create custom controls. The controls builder has a build context. Then we have a void callback of on step continue and a void callback for on step cancel. With this in mind, and you can currently see that it says assertion failed, and that's because we have no assertion, we have no on step continue or on step cancel, we can return a new rule perhaps with the children of a flat button. We'll give the flat button the text of next instead of continue. And when we select the button, we can say on pressed on step continue. We can go ahead and add another one underneath that. But this time we'll say back instead of cancel. But the on pressed will be on step cancel. So when we save that, we can now see we have the button of next and back. So let's hit back. You can see it takes us back one because our current step is set to go back one. This means we could essentially change this. For example, if we put the flat button to have perhaps a container, maybe we could add padding here, we can add whatever you want. So maybe a color of colors.blue, etc. At this point, we could then add a style to the text. So we'll give a text style of color, colors.white. And we could either add a sized box above this, perhaps with the height of something like 50, or simply some margin or padding to the container. It's entirely up to you. I'm gonna change that to be 70, to be a little higher than the 50. But that essentially should allow you to create your own custom controls. And of course, you can simply do whatever you want with this. This is just showing how to have pretty much the same as we had before, but this time just with the text of next and back. When we select the on step continue or the on step cancel, it will go ahead and run the on step continue and on step cancel that you've defined. So this won't give you any different functionality. It will simply just call the functions that you should have already made on this stepper. So that's how we use the controls builder to make a custom sort of next and back button. I hope you found it useful. If you have, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you'd like to see next. And until my next video, I'll see you very soon in the comments. Bye.